Without football, I'm not sure where I'd be before football is getting into a lot of trouble with old friends and stuff. So I could be either in jail, dead, like who knows, you know, just anywhere. Football just saves a lot of people's lives. Everybody has their opinion, but I think football saves a lot of people's lives and it keeps a lot of people out of trouble and it, it, it teaches young men to be grown men. I didn't, I, I've never had a dad, point blank. Football is basically my father. It taught me that it's not always going to get called your way and that reinforces in life. Whether I would even be close to graduating, I, I couldn't say. Football has helped me out that much and kind of just changed my projection on life. It's a huge positive impact in all of our lives. I don't think you know, a lot of guys understand that until it's done. But I think just back to myself, it changed my life forever. Ready? Let's go. Here we go, nice and easy. Slow it down. Q can pull it. Football is a huge escape for many, and it helps a lot of guys not just get through school, but also keep themselves, you know, on the straight and narrow. And I wish, uh, you know, a lot of guys had more opportunity to play. I grew up in a poor family, and I'm from American Samoa. Football is a lot to me. It's an opportunity to be here. I might be like doing something else, like roaming around the street, doing nothing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be here. Football means everything. Like, it's bigger than just a game. It builds courage, it builds, it builds confidence, it builds brotherhood. It teaches you how to think, what to do when adversity hits. It just makes you, makes you tough. It should be ready for life. It's more than just a game. At least 75% of who I am comes from football. Now we play right there. I've literally drove home after pregame meal and pregame talk. Got everything organized, drove home and walked over there. Yeah, so the town of Kalinga is a very small town. Everybody knows everybody. A desert type climate. The kids need to know that when they come here. But again, it's a town where oil is still huge, the college is still huge. It's different. It's, if you come from a big city, it'll shock you. I remember the first time I came out here, I woke up, I, I was in the car sleep. I'm like, what the heck? There ain't no Chick-fil-A, there ain't no Wendy's. I'm like, where the heck am I at? We don't have Walmart, we don't have Kmart. It's not the biggest um, city, but uh, it's decent. One main road pretty much the whole way. It's bizarre, it's crazy, you know? Coming from Colorado Springs to here was like, you gotta kinda adjust to, um, I guess like it's a slower pace. With a heat that is 102 every day. But Kalinga's a good place for you. It helps you build yourself, it helps you grow as a person. One of our neighbors, retired couple. This guy's uh, pretty cool. He's ex-Marine retired. So if you're walking in a, the gas station, walking in the grocery store with a West Hill shirt on, they're gonna ask you how things are, what, who we're playing this week. And then also it's exciting for the kids to come in because you know, it's a different um, person for our town to embrace, you know, from a kid from Baltimore, Maryland, Miami, New Orleans, wherever they might be, um, and embrace those kids. I like Kalinga just because it helps me focus a lot more. But in Kalinga, you're bored, you go do homework or study film. So I think that's gonna help my future in the long run because uh, since I'm focused, I can have better grades. West Hills is not as much of a business. That's what people don't understand about the D1 college type thing or when you get a scholarship. They're paying for you, you're an investment to them. When you come to West Hills, they don't want nothing but to make you better. I know everybody came here for a reason, that is football and school, and that's it.
we're all about coming in, trying to develop the player, you know, person, player, on and off the field. So when they leave, they can go to any other school. When they transfer and get a scholarship, we want them to make sure that they are, you know, physically and also mentally prepared, spiritually prepared to move on to whatever school it is that recruits them from Alabama all the way to, you know, University of Laverne in, in California, um, but any school, Division three to Division one. Hey, Daddy. Cool. Okay, so don't you worry. Yeah, at a big school, you're just a, you're basically a CEO, you know, of a huge corporation, and you just can't let that crash and burn for the school or the university. That's a huge money maker, and you know, television revenue, and and so that's uh, you know, you're the leader of that organization, and it is a huge organization. So I like Coach Burnett just because he's not all about football. Like, yes, he wants to win games, he wants to win a championship, just like we all do but he also teaches a lot of life lessons. He teaches us how to become a man. He's not gonna just teach you to be a better football player. He's gonna teach you how to be a better person, a man, and he says, a better person, a human in society. That's how he says it. Coach Burnout, honestly, he's like a father figure. Because the first year I got here, everybody did their own stuff. But I would like uh, thank Coach Burnout for like communicating with everybody, you know, socializing with everybody instead of doing his own things. He really cares and he wants you to not just be a great football player. He's a coach that wants you to be a great man, a good young man. He wants you to go far in life. Even if football doesn't work out for you, he wants you to still get a great job so you can be able to take care of your family. He just wants us to grow up and graduate and be the young man he knows we can be. That's why I like Coach Burnin. I don't know, he just has a winning mindset just like we all do, but it's not always just football. Winning is winning games, but also winning in life. Other side X, other side for you. Everyone's on the front line going to the right. They will go to their left. Three, Packers on three. One, two, three. Packers. How about what did I do today first? Okay, what did you do today? Um, I played games with Auntie Christy. Oh, what did your dad do today? Um, he played football. Is he a football coach? Mm-hmm. What do you think about his team? Um, it's pretty cool. Football boys. <laughs> well, when I was young, my mom, she was uh, in and out of prison, so eventually I had to go live with my grandparents. And um, I, know I was just kind of starting to get into a little trouble just because that's what I grew up with. So my grandparents thought it would be a good idea for me to start playing ball and just kind of keep me out of that trouble. And so I guess I started playing football just so I can um, get away from the negative in my life. Don't let nobody tell you that football is a waste no matter where you at. You know, I was kind of slacking. I wasn't doing everything I was supposed to in high school. I was kind of doing, drifting off, doing certain things. But I'm back on track now and I'm ready to go head first at football. Football is a great learning experience. It definitely brings a lot of people together. Um, it, it brings people from all types of backgrounds into one single thing to go to one single goal, and that's to win. Since there's a lot of people, different type of people that play football on a team, like you have whites, blacks, Mexicans, Asians. This guy's really into God. This guy really isn't into God. This guy liked video games. He's a gamer. This guy over here is a, uh, ex-basketball player. You have people from the hood, you have people from rich areas, you know what I'm saying? It's just different. It's a whole different type of people, so there's no really segregation. There's no separating people. Like, you're just a team. Oh, he's good at football, or he plays football, he's on my team, so yeah, come on. This melting pot of cultures, right, all can find a common ground in anything. Junior college is, it's, it's vital. A lot of people that come to JUCO aren't the most successful in either the classroom, on the field, it just, it's another opportunity to show what you have. And not only in football, but in, in school too. Honestly, I had a chance to go to Idaho State. They offered me, uh, you know, I had bad grades and stuff like that. And I didn't really know there was a thing called junior college. It's an opportunity to be here. Ready, to go. Now we'll go outside zone. Okay, it should be 26 to the right. 26 to the right.
football, honestly, um, like I said, it's, it kind of saved my life in a lot of ways. Just the team-wise, team-wise, having a team on you, you just always have brothers, you always have someone you can go to. It kind of helps you like be a leader in life. My son, he's two years old now. So, I mean, if he's asking me like, oh, what was it like to play football? What was it like to be a safety? I'm gonna definitely let him know like, it just uh, changes your life. You will have brothers that could last a lifetime just because you're always connecting with them. So, just again, just another guy from West Hills that used this opportunity to come in as a 148 pound freshman to leave here and go to Arkansas and start 26 straight games and win two huge bowl games and all kinds of stuff and go play in the NFL five years. So again, it's, it's possible for a lot of people, but the work I saw this guy put in, the how kind of person he is, that's what Matt matters. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. West Hills College Falcons, Darius Bennett. Just wanted to reach out to you guys, man, you know, to let you know how important, you know, school is and how important it is to get that degree. You know, coming to West Hills was probably one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life. Coach Burner, you know, that was my guy, man. That was my teammate, and we pushed each other. And, you know, the top 1% of players, you know, will probably make it to the NFL. And even if you do make it, you know, career is probably only gonna last three or four years. You know, that's the average NFL career. That degree is so important, and it can take you anywhere you wanna go. You can't just be an athlete in college, you gotta be a student athlete. And I learned that coming here. You know, we're gonna be fair, we're gonna be equal, we're gonna you know, develop you, get you an opportunity to move on, and then also help you academically or whatever else it is that we need help with to you know, push you forward to become a better person, you know, in 30 years be a better dad, husband, you know. I'm 19 years old and I play offensive line. I'm 19 years old and I play running back. 20 years old and I play linebacker. I'm 20 and I play defensive back. And I'm 20 years old. I play safety here at West Hills. I mean, the kind of man I want to be, I want to, I want to be someone that people can look up to. You know, the tough thing in my life was losing my mom. And I promise her that I won't ever, never, ever fail in life. And she told me, yes, you'll do a big thing, son. I want to be a great person. I want to be somebody that my family can look and be like, I can, we can count on him. Football has made me accountable, dependable, and I've always told my mom, I'm a man of my word. Uh, I want to have my own family. Uh, I want my kids to have the confidence that their dad, their mom, their family in general is going to be there for them. Then I, I'm still keeping that promise, and I'm here right now doing good things. Well, my plans for the future, I obviously want to transfer to a four-year and play football. Um, I want to get my degree in business management, but also I just want to uh, make sure that my son just has the best life he can. And uh, just wanted to let you guys know how important, you know, school is and how important it is to get that degree. I'll tell you a little bit about my story. I was a knucklehead, you know, never wanted to go to class. You know, just thinking that football would take me everywhere that I wanted to go and I didn't have to worry about school or you know, going to class or anything else. So, you know, it, it really humbled me, um, you know, coming to a town like Kalinga. You know, I, I wouldn't have made it, you know, where I am today, you know, without that place. And everybody wants to go to the NFL. And, you know, that's just not in everybody's cards, man. You know, and I preach to kids all the time, man. That degree is so important and it can take you anywhere you want to go. But without those grades, man, you know, you'll just be another a story of how great of an athlete, you know, I was. And Coach Vernon is going to do everything he can to get you guys to the next level. And, um, you know, but you guys just have to take his coaching and take his teaching and everything that he's trying to implement, you know, the Falcon way. I just want everybody to be on the lookout for West Hills football. I know we come from this little town, but we finna shoot up to the top. If you wanna get on the train, you know where it's at, Kalinga, California, don't sleep on us. And all the way from the 407. <laughs>